And now for more on a recent Israeli study involving the siblings of children with intellectual disabilities, we have Israeli psychologist Dr. Kamila Folkash Lavan. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for so, having me. All right, so some research has been done uh, to deal with the challenges of growing up with a, with a sibling with intellectual disabilities, but not a lot of studies have been mm -hmm. really done about the siblings. Yes. So, you know, what, what's new here? What's different? So the difference is, as you've mentioned already before, that uh, it takes a very positive um, spin and a positive outlook because before we know the challenges uh, where um, you know it, it might be very very difficult for the family to cope with different things also sometimes um, typically developing children might get kind of lost in the mix because more attention is given to the child with a disability but here what the research shows is that actually the child that's typically developing might uh, have a lot of benefits from being next to a child with, with, with special needs and um, some of them of course are being like um, being more mature, uh, having uh, better empathy, knowing how to take care of somebody else, listening, which is very very important. Is there, is there maybe to oversimplify a risk of you know growing up too fast? Uh, you can say that on one hand, okay, mm -hmm. of course, but on the other hand, you you see that there's uh, better social skills for the child. The child is more motivated, knows how to uh, problem solve, knows how to. Um, be sensitive and help someone else, which isn't a bad thing, it's a good thing. No, yeah, that's well, right. what I think is so groundbreaking about this study is that it kind of goes against the grain. I, I, you know, don't judge a book by its cover, right? Mm -hmm. Because most people think it's just this enormous um, struggle to, to have a person in your family who is not t you know, developing typically. But here we're seeing something completely different, right? Well, it, it doesn't negate the, the struggles, I want to be clear on that. The struggles are still there. But this research specifically also shows the benefits that it might have on the child's development, on, uh, that's typically developing, on, uh, on the, the development of um, the value of, of how to communicate with somebody else and how to be more sensitive to the needs of somebody else. The right. challenges also still do exist, and they're very real, and it's very important to also highlight that because a lot of times, like all families, might need help sometimes, and children that um, are with, with special needs take a lot of effort, a lot of attention, and it would be nice if uh, maybe your friends, family, sometimes it's very isolating to be in a situation like that, so it would be nice if you reach out to them, help them, I don't know, let them sleep, and <laughs> take them for a cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. So the challenges are also still there, but right. we now also know that there are also benefits, which is very important. Well, yeah, it's, it's also, I think, extremely yeah. important for families like this who kind of want to remove a taboo around that mm -hmm. as well. Thank you so much for joining Thank us. Thank you.